up. It's so dank, looking crazy, sitting on the toilet. But I figured I'd share some valuable information with y'all. Doesn't have anything to do with farming. Has to do with poison ivy. Y'all know what poison ivy is? If you get on Google, I mean, like anything else on Google, it's fucking skewed, and uh, there's a bunch of disinformation on there, like... It'll say, uh, give yourself a calamine bath for fucking the entire two weeks that you got poison ivy. Uh, while your poison ivy spreads. And, like, dry out the wound. I've had poison ivy enough that I know how to completely defeat it. So, uh, I guess I'll just share some tips. Whenever you think you have poison ivy or you've been around it, well, I guess the first thing is, is to identify it so that you know what it looks like. Uh, I'm not going to explain. You can just get on Google. Maybe they'll get that right. But uh, basically, whenever you start to see, like, even if you think it's a bug bite. See that one there? And that one. Whenever you even think it's a bug bite, just get in the bath with hot ass water. Fucking, let's see, I got some witch hazel, a toothbrush. Dude, get some fucking uh, steel wool. For a sponge, and um, I mean, you gotta be alright with pain, I guess. Not for kicks, though. It's actually not that fun to scrub the shit off your skin, but that's what you need to do. You need to get some fucking. I got baking soda. I don't know, just the worst shit. Like, do bleach. Bleach is cool. Witch hazel, uh, isopropyl alcohol. I don't know about different um, essential oils and stuff, but. Basically, you just want to, uh, you just want to scrub your skin fucking open, dude. Scrub, scrub these itchy spots until it starts to bleed, and then scrub it even more. And then if you just do that consistently for like two days, from the point of you noticing that you got these poison ivy bites, uh, you, yeah, you won't be spreading it all over your body. See, like there's a good one right there that I missed on my wrist. It's like a big old pus ball. I'm cool with that because I'm about to just fuck it up. But that's what you need to do. You need to just scrub, scrub your fucking skin. And if you get on Google, it's got all these remedies, but it doesn't say shit about that because that's the only thing that works, man. So yeah, if you get poison ivy, that's what you need to do. Fucking scrub it. Scrub it so it breaks because that shit is like in your pores. And it's what, however it multiplies, I don't know. Because, you know, it gets really greasy and that's how it spreads because you fucking scratch it a little bit, break it open. People are dumb. They probably scratch it until it stops itching. Uh. And then, like, just not, not scrubbing it, but just scratching it. And then it breaks your skin open. And then that shit is able to fucking spread uh, wherever you touch. In your sheets. That's a big part of it. Like, dude, just go the extra length. Change your fucking sheets. Don't wear the same underwear again. And if you want it to be gone, you have to fucking scrub it off your skin. Because look, like these, they don't even itch. That was two days ago. But like, I scrubbed them over and over and over. See, those were the main ones. Now I got like some new shit that I'm dealing with. Like little... Cause I didn't, I didn't get in the bath last night and scrub this shit like I should have, but, um, yeah, it's fucked up. I got it on the inside of my legs and, uh, other places, if you can imagine. So, I just, uh, it's just upkeep. Scrub it, dude, and then it'll just turn into a scab, and then the poison ivy will just, it'll just go away. But you know that you did it right if you scrub it really good and it bleeds, and then you scrub it even more, fucking squeeze it, just get some hate in your heart and just fucking hate poison ivy, squeeze it, scrub it, and um, yeah, bomb it with some shit, dry it out, you know, I didn't put lotion, like I always lotion after I take a shower and stuff, but don't put lotion or nothing on, just let your skin be dry, and uh, just be, be ruthless, you gotta be ruthless, um, What's key? Am I missing anything? Oh, yeah. 
like scrub them and then the next day if they itch at all like if it itches at all then you didn't scrub it enough so that's the thing you have to scrub it and get deep enough to like rip your lip rip your little pores open so they can like be cleaned out because otherwise your shit's just gonna swell and keep that retain that fucking poison in your skin but if you're a man you gotta do it right and just over scrub it so then you don't have to do it again because that's gonna suck if you got a scab but you didn't scrub it deep enough you're gonna have to scrub that scab off but me I ain't afraid see like I got it in my fucking armpit but that shit doesn't itch because I've just straight up fucking annihilated it so yeah that's my poison video